I feel like we're tethered to each other for 15 years talking about you and Loki uh, in different incarnations, in different projects, and it all goes back to Comic-Con. I want to show a photo. Do we have a photo here, guys? Can we take a look at this? No, oh, oh, there it is. So that is, that's your first, that was probably your first Comic-Con. That was when Thor debuted. First time at San Diego Comic-Con, which was July of 2010. Yeah, yeah. that's right. This, well, I mean, this picture was taken. Yeah. Now, you had had the experience. Mere children, both of us. We were children. Yeah. Were you confident in what you had just done? You had just had this life-altering, this huge experience, the great Ken Branagh, this amazing role. Yeah. Do you remember that Comic-Con feeling like, we, ha we have it in the bag? Did you, have, did you have nerves? Like, what was your attitude then? It was so interesting, actually. It's a great question. I remember um, our producer, um, a, a terrific, passionate, energetic uh, producer called Craig Kyle on that movie. And he was like, just you wait. <laughs> <laughs> and again, <laughs> awestruck into silence. <laughs> for, the, for the tech, maybe we have the backup microphone ready, just, <laughs> just in case. So Craig had said to me, just you wait till you get to San Diego. That room, the energy in Hall H is so generous and so um, excited and passionate. And, and so I was really looking forward to it. And I think, I guess it was just an unknown. I didn't know what to expect. But he was absolutely right that when we screened some footage or a trailer uh, maybe we did we screen anything i can't remember but we, it was all of us it was kenneth browner chris hemsworth natalie portman kat dennings and myself and kevin feige and i i was just it chris and i were giddy but we, we were so overwhelmed by the whole thing um, and I hadn't seen the movie. I didn't. I knew what I had done. I knew what I had shot, but I hadn't seen it cut together. I think we'd only just wrapped. We'd right. sort of two months after we wrapped. So that's always that strange Comic Con thing. They like launch you out into like out of a canon essentially. Yeah. I've had that experience so many times with folks that are in the middle of production or have just wrapped, and then suddenly they're in front of six thousand people and they're still processing what they've just gone through. Yeah. And I was also weirdly enough that year was a kind of. Um, busy year for me and I had flown from London because I was in pre-production for War Horse and I'd been just on a horse for weeks and weeks and weeks <laughs> um, tr trying to get up to speed and precision at being a First World War cavalry officer and I remember flying in a plane with Hugo Weaving because he was flying he was in the middle of production for Captain America the First Avenger and we sat next to each other on the, on the ride over, and I was like, I'm on a plane with Hugo Weaving. <laughs> this is amazing. Yeah. I have a feeling you saw like, The Matrix 10 times. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I mean, just also the nicest man you yeah. could ever hope to meet, and the most, um, the, a the actor's actor, I think. Um, and we just were swapping stories, and I was like, what's Captain America like? And he was like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, we're, just, we're just starting it now. It seems pretty fun. Crazy. Uh, um, yeah, Red, Red Skull and Loki sitting at the back of a plane comparing <laughs> notes. You don't want to see those two on a plane. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Look, we all have one thing in common. We all get stressed out. I certainly am no different. Work accumulates. Life accumulates. Family obligations accumulate. And I tend to bottle it up. And that's a problem for me. And it's a problem for so many people I know. And when you bottle things up, it can start to affect you negatively. We all carry around these different stressors, big and small. There's no shame in that. Therapy is a safe space to get things off your chest and to figure out how to work through whatever's weighing you down. I've benefited from therapy. My friends and family have benefited. That's why I'm proud that BetterHelp is a sponsor of Happy sad, confused. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online. It's designed to be convenient and flexible and suited to your schedule. All you have to do, it's so easy, is fill out a brief questionnaire. You get matched with a licensed therapist and you can truly switch therapists at any time, no additional charges. Get it off your chest right now with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash HSC today to get 10% off 
your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash H-S-C.